Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my home. Welcome to my property in Livingston, Montana. Okay, this is just an ad lib video, an off the cuff video, a non rehearsed video, almost like all of my videos. But I'm going to dedicate this video to a, to a nice lady that lives in Southern California. Her name is Rose Marie. Or Rose, or Rosa, or whatever here. <laughs> Just kidding, Rose. You know who you are. Don't, don't get uptight on me. Anyway, this question was proposed to me a couple weeks ago. Like, if a person was to come here to Livingston, Montana, where are the best places to eat in Livingston, Montana? Now, here's what I've got to say. I don't friggin' know. <laughs> No, now listen, I, I say that with conviction. I say that with all honesty because this morning, and this is a, what is this, a Sunday morning, May 16th of 2021, I was out in my living room talking to my wife, and I posed, I, my wife's name is Penny, and I say to Penny, I said, I told her, I said, let's talk about the, the eateries here in Livingston, the restaurants and all that kind of stuff, because she keeps up with that stuff way more than I do. Like, sometimes she'll say to me, let's go eat somewhere, or let's go get some takeout, or let's, and I'll say, okay, okay, I got it, and I don't want to be bothered anymore with it. You know, but anyway, we get into this discussion this morning, and she goes, well, the so-and-so restaurant, it moved, and the so-and-so restaurant over here closed down because they can't get any help, and the so-and-so restaurant over here you know, sold out to so-and-so, now they've renamed the place this and that, then, you know, it's one of them kind of things. The restaurant business here in Livingston, Montana, as far as I'm concerned anyway, from what I've seen, is a little bit shaky. The reason being is because most of the people that come here, come here in the summertime. Got that? The tourist thing. Come here in the summertime. Okay. So any business that's struggling along trying to make it through the winter is going to have a little bit of problem, especially when it comes to eating food for some strange reason. Because we've got some good restaurants, a few of them, damn few, fewer than I'd like to see anyway, here in Livingston, Montana. But I hate to say, oh yeah, you want to go here, you want to go there, you want to do this. The reason being is because the situation with these with these restaurants and eateries and stuff like that seems like it's always changing. People are either going out of business, changing their name, doing whatever. You know, making my life a living hell, for one thing. So here it is. Rosemary, pay attention, because I imagine you'll see this video. And I don't want anybody here in Livingston that follows my channel or anybody that follows my channel to get all ticked off at what I'm going to say next. But here it is. Here is my personal opinion, which I know doggone well is more than likely going to tick somebody off. So don't get all twisted up. Just, just deal with it. You know, smile and laugh right along. When you come to Livingston, Montana, when it comes to food, here's what you do. Here's here's here here's the, the 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 secret to unlocking the key of to your belly. Here's what you do: you go down to either Town and Country Groceries or Albertsons and get you your favorite wieners, hot dogs, you know that kind of stuff. Get you some buns, get you some fixins or whatever have you. Get you a few cans of pop. Get you some potato chips, whatever you want, and go out in the weeds. Go out in the bushes. Go up in the mountains, go wherever, build you a nice little campfire, take a, you know, you got to go out and cut you a willow stick, it has to be willow or it's not Montana authentic, but get, get you a nice long willow stick and sharpen, you know, sharpen the end of it, take that hot dog or one of them hot dogs and spear it on there, or take a fork like this, you know what I mean, a fork and willow stick and fork the hot dog just like that, and, and, and take your campfire there and, Take it, your hand rotisserie, that's this deal right here, and, you know, and skirt your hot dog right over, <laughs> skirt and burn your hot dog right over that little flame there, you know what I'm talking about? Sure you do, sure you do, and, you know, slap it on the bun, slap your fixings on there, and munch away. 
Here it is. There's the punchline. That's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> That's as good as it's going to get. Burning hot dogs on the weeds. Now, I, I would imagine nobody's getting a kick out of this. Nobody likes what I'm saying. But here it is. Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> now, listen. For you folks that are going to be coming to Livingston this summer, Go do yourself a favor. If you want to know where to go, what to do, what to eat, especially what to do in the town of Livingston, stop in at the chamber, chamber, excuse me, chamber of commerce, right on Park Street. Go all the way down Park Street till you're almost in the east part of town. It's on your left hand side. I don't have the address right here, but just look it up. They've got a whole bunch of brochures where to go, what to do with Livingston. But you know, and there's several websites the wife was pointing out to me a little while ago where, you know, that are listing the various uh, restaurants and eateries that are open that have managed to stay open and remember ladies and gentlemen we've had this COVID thing and that's been real hard on small businesses you know like coronavirus and all this social distancing and all this nonsense but the governor of Montana Gene Gianforte he's gotten really ticked off a bit you know this whole you know, people lying around, you know, with the unemployment thing and becoming lazy because of the coronavirus and everything. So he's essentially put everybody back to work. So there you are. But these small businesses, these small restaurants here have had a tough time staying open. They've had a tough time keeping help and all of that, all kidding aside. So, you know, just... Do what I say, you know, just, just go along with the joke here, because I'm not going to put myself in a position where you say, oh, go here, go there. Like, I'm just not going to do it. They're all good. If you're hungry enough, well, there's an old saying, I better not say it here, or it'll gross people out. But if you're hungry enough, you're, you're liable to eat a whole bunch of stuff. That's, that's all I know. Okay, what is this, seven minutes, that's good enough. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We shall see you on down the pike and, you know, uh, stay healthy and take care of yourselves and we'll see you on down the trail. I got to get gone because we're burning daylight. ha <laughs> ha.